Hello, and welcome to this special junior episode of Hornet Nation. I'm Colin Wagner. And I'm Travis Woodman. This week, we cover the history of the Golden Triangle, sports safety, and showcase the Special Olympics event at Saline. All this and more on this fantastic episode of Hornet Nation. The Golden Triangle is the biggest track meet in the Midwest. With over 3,000 athletes competing this year, Natalie Colano tells us more about the event. The Golden Triangle is a long-standing tradition, but it didn't start out here. Uh, I came to Saline about 10 years ago, and we've grown it into one of the largest states, state uh, meets. Saline resident, but Ypsilanti teacher and coach Tom McAuliffe. Uh, I think he created the event over at Ipsy High School and when he retired from Ypsilanti he came here to help us out and brought that track meet with him. The Golden Triangle pushes students to compete harder because there are so many other schools that we wouldn't normally compete against. It pushes you so much more now that like you're on a big you're on the big stage and you have so many more people look, looking at you. All the competition, all the competitors that are here and there's like 60 something schools. There are many reasons students like the Golden Triangle. I just love how many teams are there and it's just filled with like such, it's such a good environment just to be around because everyone loves to be there and it's just a really fun time. This was the 24th annual Golden Triangle Meet of Champions. Congratulations to everyone who placed in their events. Signing off, I'm Natalie Colano. Back to you in the studio. Hosting the biggest track meet in the state is no small operation. Big thanks to all the student and parent volunteers that helped out. If you missed the event or want to relive a race, the entire video is on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash video. Almost 50 athletes from Saline and many others from Washtenaw County Area 20 competed in the Special Olympics track and field event on Tuesday, May 14th. Many spectators from the Saline High School cheered on athletes as over 100 connecting student volunteers helped organize the running and field events. It was a beautiful spring day for all who participated. While playing sports is fun, it also comes with its risks. The U.S. Center for Disease Control estimates that nearly 30 million children and adolescents play organized sports in the United States. But a large number of injuries occur every year. Natalie Colano looks into sports safety at Saline High School. Safety is an important aspect of sports. We at Hornet Nation wanted to learn more on how it affects athletes at Saline. Mr. Parrish gives us the details. When it comes to the safety of our kids playing sports, there's quite a few layers to that. Um, the Michigan State High School Athletic Association has, has quite a few standards from the initial physical intake. The student athlete has seen a doctor to, you know, return to play policies after an injury. Mr. Parrish has to make sure that the coaches have proper training. Every head coach for a state of Michigan high school sport has to be CPR certified. There's a portal that I can log on to as the athletic director of Saline and see which coaches have received which training, is it up to date, do we need to get someone recertified, things like that. It's not only a, a Saline initiative, but, but statewide. Staff and coaches have a large responsibility when it comes to athlete safety. I think we go above and beyond in terms of safety just because of the, the attention to detail that our staff takes care of, both our teachers and our coaches. Educating our kids from a nutrition standpoint to stretching, routine, strength. What to be looking for during practice or game, proper habits, things in life in general. But athletes must also ensure their own safety. If there's something that's not right, they need to, to let us know, I'd say, and then we rely on our coaches heavily to, to be monitoring practices all the time. If they think they're ready to play, uh, they, they wouldn't put them, on the, put them on the court or put them on the field unless they were physically ready to play. We have great confidence in our staff. Safety is also reliant on our resources. Really a kudos to our Board of Education and the public. We have an amazing facility. We know that it's a very safe environment for competition and practices, and uh, we take great pride in that in Saline. Safety is a complex topic, but here at Saline, it is a great responsibility that is executed by many people in and around the high school. Reporting for Hornet Nation, I am Natalie Colano. Back to you in the studio. I never knew how much the school did to ensure the safety of all athletes, even if they're not from Saline. Well, that's all for this show. Tune in next time for the Senior Special, where they will cover senior advice about sports, a blooper reel, and the last in their shoes. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for the latest show updates, at Nation Hornet. 
Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Celine Video, for more great content. Signing off, I'm Travis Woodman. And I'm Colin Wagner. Have a marvelous day, Hornets.